Broadcasting live and in high definition for all North Texas. Fox 4 News at 5 starts now. Very few people in North Texas are getting the H1N1 flu shot because there's not enough vaccine to go around. It's taking longer to produce the vaccine than expected. Phil Alvarado is first on Fox 4 News at 5 with a plan of action. Phil. Well, Baron, here at the Tarrant County Public Health Department, you know, they've received 500 doses finally of the injectable H1N1 vaccine, and no one is telling them when they might get more. So right now they're working on exactly who will get this vaccine. Caroline is almost seven weeks old, too young to get the H1N1 vaccine, but her mom, Blair Chapel would like to get a swine flu shot so she doesn't get sick and risk infecting her baby. Every day it sounds like someone else is getting infected. Blair got the seasonal flu shot, but the doses of H1N1 vaccine arriving in North Texas are few and far between. I'm very anxious to get it. Tens of thousands of doses that were expected in North Texas by now have turned into only a few thousand, not enough to protect the people who need it and want it. Dr. Jerry Semica is with the UNT Health Science Center in Fort Worth. And this is a virus and it takes time to grow that up and anytime you slow down the growth rate obviously the less virus you'll have and it takes longer. That's exactly what happened. The virus being used to make the vaccine is growing slower than expected. And there is a rigorous testing process that the vaccine had to pass before it was distributed. To test it to make sure it's safe, make sure it's effective. Uh, you just have to take the extra time because the worst thing to do is put out a vaccine that causes more harm than good. Tarrant County says it is going to take those 500 uh, swine flu shots that it does have and give them to uh, emergency health care responders and to school nurses, and they'll probably do that during four one-day clinics, but that part is still being worked out. Reporting live, Phil